Hey, this is Brian from Harvest. This video is just to do a quick overview of the YT5050 field recording microphone so you can turn it on and start recording. We have ours in a wireless microphone bag to keep the accessories together, which also has our contact info on the front of it. Inside the bag, we have the power supply with a mini USB connection used to charge the mic. It is fully charged right now, so it'll last eight hours on one charge, and we also have AA batteries in it as a backup. Inside the bag, we also have a quick reference guide, which shows the stat status of all the LEDs, and on the back shows the settings for the microphone. These settings can only be changed through a computer, and they are set up for the recording session already. We have a microphone clip in the bag, in case you need to mount it to a stand. And then we have the mic itself. The mic has the record buttons on the front, the playback buttons on the back, and then on the bottom we have the battery compartment, the mini USB in for charging and computer connection, the SD card slot, the headphone jack, and the line in. We'll mostly be focusing on the headphone jack. If you want to hear what the mic is recording while it's recording, you're going to have to use headphones. I tried the headphones from my old phone, which has the four pin connection, TRRS. That doesn't seem to work, so you're going to need to use headphones that have the three pin connection or connect the headphones to a mixer so you can control the volume if you're going to listen to what the mic's recording while it's recording. It's not necessary to do as it auto levels, so it should be able to record without you needing to hear what it's doing. To turn the mic on, you hold the stop button on the back, on the playback side, and the record button on the front. Once it's starting up, the record light will blink green until it goes to mounting the SD card, which should happen in just a moment here. And there, now the memory is blinking, which means it's mounting the card. And as soon as that's done, it goes to just blinking every once in a while, and that shows you it's ready to record. That's all for turning on. Then when you want to record, you just hit record, and now the light comes on all the time, and that means it's recording. It also records for 10 seconds before you hit the record button as a backup so you don't miss any phrases if you hit the record button late. Once you're done, hit stop. And then to turn the microphone off, you hold the stop on the playback side again and the stop on the record side. Once you press those two, the light stops blinking and the mic is off. That's all I have for today. Hope everything works out good. Let us know if you need any help. Thanks. Bye.